chapter chapter one. Second Peter chapter one. Praise God. Praise the glory of the Lord. Oh, Simon Peter, servant and apostle of Jesus Christ, to them that have obtained like precious faith with us through the righteousness of God and our Savior Jesus Christ. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord, according as his divine power had given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that had called us to glory and virtue, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these he might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through loss. And beside this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue, and to virtue knowledge, mm -hmm. and to knowledge temperance, and unto temperance patience, and to patience godliness, and to godliness brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness charity. For if these things be in you and the bomb, they make you that he shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. But he that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see afar off and hath forgotten that he was purged from his own sins. Wherefore the rather brethren Give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if he do these things, he shall never fall. We thank the Lord this morning. Praise God. Wonderful instruction to us this morning. Peter, an apostle, the one that was given the key by God. He's encouraging the church that they give diligence, give the more earnest heed to these things that you make our calling and election sure. The purpose for which we give our life to God and have denied ourselves of flesh and things. And sometimes, you know, things that we really need, yeah. some things we have, we have, you know, give up for, it makes no sense that you do it half the It makes no sense that we come to church, sit as the people sit, you know, and not giving to God over all. The Bible said that without holiness, no man can see God. Now holiness is not an outward thing, it's an inward thing manifest on the outside. Holiness is not pretense. Holiness, you got to just have it. You have to just have it. You have to have the holy. You got to be a, a tide in you because you see, I can do an action earlier. And it is not what I do that makes it holy and makes it right. Yes. It is the spirit that possesses that action that makes that action holy. Amen. So if we are to be a holy brethren, the Holy Spirit has to be in control in order for us to consider ourselves holy. It is not because the apostles were preaching and doing all these things that they got the name by holy apostles. It's because of the spirit that was in them, that possesses them to do the will of God. And that is why he told a, a, a king that he did everything right in the sight of God, but not with a perfect heart. Why? He did not did it according 
filled with the Spirit. Amen. Beloved, 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 tolerating yeah. is not holy. Right. Some of us tolerate. Yeah. We put on. Yeah. We pretend. Toleration is pretending. All right. That's right. To be what you're not. So the right to hear is encouraging us that we give diligence to these things. What are these things? What are the things that we should give diligence to? Virtue is one of them. Virtue is considered good morals, good attitude. You know, it, it, but, but you see, you can have good morals, but you still not holy. Amen. So what, what is behind your action? What motivates you to be kind? What motivates you to come to church? Maybe you just want to, for us to see you that you are present. But there is not that love within you for the things of God. Beloved, sir, I have come to know that serving God it takes time. Yes. To know Christ takes time. To become like Him Sometimes we rush it too much. And the Bible says that no man think that he of himself more highly than he ought to. But think soberly. Be honest to yourself. If you're not there, brave, you're just not there. If you don't have the Holy Ghost abiding in you, say you don't have it. Because how you know that you have the Holy Ghost? How about you? How do you know you don't have the Holy Ghost? When there is no reproof, when you are when you are wrong, when there is no guilt. When you are in earth, when there is no self connection or correction, that's how you know that either the Holy Ghost left you or you did not have it in your heart. Now, one thing is for certain that you cannot enter without it. Another thing, one thing is for certain you can't please him without it. Another thing, you cannot serve him without it. Amen. 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 Before he left this earth, he ensured that the apostles had it. Before they go and preach any message, before they preach the first message, did they have it? Have you received he the Holy Ghost since you believe? God is saying something to us. You see, all of these things that you, that we're supposed to do, it is the Holy Ghost that makes them the things of God. Beloved, without the Holy Ghost working, working in us, we are just trembling, making noise, appear to be something that we are not. It's bodily exercise. So one must seek for the Holy Ghost. And one must check to see if the Holy Ghost is still abiding. It is very important. It's a treasure on the angel. This reminds me also about the ten virgins. Five were wise. Five were foolish. They were virgins. They were meaning that they were naturally purified. They were not touched and defied 
in a sexual manner. They also possess the land. Which according to Bible can be looked at as the word of God. As David in Psalms 119 said, Thy word is a light and a lamp. Thy word is a what? So they possess the word. And that's what makes them that if we obey the word, we will look alike. We will sow alike. But what makes the difference is the oil. They had lamps. They come to church. They, they heard the word preach. They were present at every service. And they obeyed the word. But no oil. The, the lamp was empty. Therefore, the question is, how were they shining? Because you cannot shine with if there is no oil within the lamp. So the Holy Ghost, it is that driving factor. It is that, that uh, fine. The Bible said that when you receive out of your belly, shall flow rivers of living that simple art. The Bible said that the beginning of, of, of the beginning of the, the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Therefore, the department, the department of understanding. Therefore, in order for the oil, you, it got to be a flowing. So, 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 so the wisdom stayed in the word of God, stayed in God. It did a continuous pouring. Because if there is not a continuous pouring, Bishop, the oil will run out. There is a flowing. Out of your belly shall what flow out? River of living water. Therefore, what got to ensure that there is a constant pouring, flowing of the Holy Ghost in their life? Because if not, your oil will run out and you will not realize. And what happened is, if you try to light the wheat without oil, all that will happen is smoke. Burn out. So, they had the world. They had the container. They left. They were okay when the sun was shining. They were okay when your friend was here, when you are in church. And everybody's jumping up. Somebody speak fast tongues. Mm. So when you act like you have it, because there is a you know, togetherness. Pretending to have it. And you find that what makes these things difficult for you to do is because the Holy is not alive. Is the Holy Ghost alive? Eli had a responsibility to keep the light in the house. His job was to pour in all see to it that it never run out. But the oil ran out. The house went into the darkness. And it did not end the moon. All we in darkness. Is the oil low? You cannot shine. We cannot be the light of the world. We don't. There is a need for all. 
There is a need for it. There is a need for repentance. There is a need for us to shine. But we cannot shine. And if we remain like this, without the oil, thinking that we are all waiting for the trumpet, waiting for the call, when Gabriel shall take up that call, we are waiting for that soul. We are well doctrinized to know that we must wait to hear the trumpet. The bridegroom is coming. We are coming on to meet him. But how are you meeting him? How are we meeting him? What position will he find you in? What position will he find us in? Because if there is no oil in the vessel, they can't. Mm. 
If you don't know the guidelines of the church, you need to ask for it. Praise God. Because there is a thin line between king and king. God gave a commandment and we must follow it. If we do these things, we shall not be bothered. So the church must bring forth. But if you don't abide in these things, you can't bring forth. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bring forth the wrath of the Lord. Give diligence. To make your call an election show. We're living in the last and closing days. And things seem as if we are up against it. And it seems as if the church is struggling. Oh no, she's not struggling. She's not struggling. She's not struggling. The power is in the church. Healing and deliverance is in the church. Praise God. For, for as an entrance shall be but an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Beloved, we were fasting yesterday and the presenter, she talked about the salt of the earth. And if the salt has lost its flavor, it should be exposed, it will be trampled upon. We are, are we the salt of the earth? Do you have the salt? She said that the soil is able to cure, able to preserve. Therefore, beloved, and the soil is based on the Holy Ghost. Without the Holy Ghost, you cannot live holy. Lord, we depend on you today. Without the Holy Ghost, you can't survive. Therefore, the give diligence to me. Thank you. 
this. Do not pretend. Do not tell me, praise the Lord, brother. You hear me. Do not greet me and you're against me. Dear as yet, but that's what it is. 